Grace Now Podcast. I'm Jonas. I'm TNT Dynamite, the explosive one. Let's crack into another one. TNT. Yo. So this this happened in India, I think. Uh oh. Um. So there was a guy who he asked his friend to come to the hospital with him. Uh, yeah, I've been there. And then and then when he was in the hospital. He ended up somehow being put under anesthesia, and when he woke up, his friend had somehow got the doctors to perform a sex change operation on him and and, and removed his genitals. This is not a friend. Well, right. And then the and then what happened was the guy said, "You're a woman now, and your friends and family will no longer accept you. So now we have to get married." So he basically was in love with his friend and turned him into a woman via surgery so he could have him and no one else would accept him. And he said, it says here, he was, it says, the friend thre- later threatened him and he'll have to live with him now. No one will accept him or he would shoot his father and seize his share of the family land. What the, wait, man, holy, yo, that escalated so fast. It says, he added, when I regained consciousness the next day, he told me that I have become a woman now, and we will both have to get married. What the hell is going on? India, what are you doing out there, man? What are you doing out there, India? The question I have is, like, how did he just convince someone to do the surgery? Like, he's like, no, he good. He wants it. Put him out. Like he didn't, he didn't sign no papers. I mean, maybe he did. Maybe he just. Maybe he did maybe, sign the papers. Maybe he was just stupid and was like, "Oh, my friend's really nice. He's gonna have. He's gonna do something nice for me. Like remove my genitals." To so think get- that if I were deathly ill and I were to go into a, a hospital and my only contact in the, the the city I live in would be a friend of mine, and I were to be like, "Hey, look." If anybody needs to make any immediate medical decisions for me, it should be my friend because I am too sick to make these decisions for myself or I'll be incapacitated. And then to have that friend decide to try to turn me into a transsexual male woman and then attempt to marry me. No, he just told you that you were his wife now because no one else is going to love you. Attempt to marry me. I would kill you and your entire family. (laughs) Like, I just don't, I don't get how, how this even, you want to talk about, you know, yesterday we talked about Apple having a lawsuit. This motherfucker has a lawsuit. Yeah, I don't know. It's India, so I don't know if it's a lawsuit. <laughs> what What do you mean? <laughs> I don't know if that's they a lawsuit like you in do India. whatever you want there? Yeah, I believe that uh, if it's a thirst trap, then it's okay. I think in India is the way it works. If it's a thirst trap, it's okay. I think that's how it works in India. I'm pretty sure that you're allowed to do anything if it if it's in the uh, if it's if a it thirst. falls in the vein of a thirst trap. Yeah, and if his friend had you know, if he was walking around with all that, you know, then what, what if it was, was he just doing? A nice prank, and he's like, "Ha ha, gotcha." That's what you know. Honestly, Jonas, that's where I thought you were going with it, and then it got really weird. <laughs> Wait, wait, really wait. Weird. You're okay with a ha ha gotcha remove your genital surgery, but then when he was in love with him, so, that look, took it too far. Look, if I went to the hospital and I was deathly ill and I woke up with like, you know, B cups, I'm gonna be like, oh, you got me. <laughs> <laughs> you got me. Oh, okay. yeah? That's what you gonna do? Ha <laughs> ha, I got tits now. You know, that's funny. Is that's it? Funny. Yeah. Uh, oh. To a certain extent, yeah, that's kind of funny. I'm never going to the hospital with you. Like ever. a friend, you wake up, your friend, hey, guess what? Uh, check it out. Like, I'm not going to be mad I got tits, right? I'm going to flaunt the B words, man. I'm going to start picking up halter tops and getting, like, some low cut. You're going to wear crop tops? Yeah, you know, yeah. I'm going to start showing it off, man. I got something to work with now. Okay. You cut off my genitals, my man? No forgiveness. And that's the thing is like as a man, when you said that he had his genitals removed and replaced with something else, that's where the infraction really comes in. Anything else beyond that as men, I feel like we can forgive each other. Wait, even a kidney like a I mean, look, even if you if you need the kidney to survive, fam, all you really have to do is ask. Because what am I doing with the other one? Well, 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 he just stole pissing it. with it. I'm just pissing it away. <laughs> Literally. Literally. I like yeah. that. Yeah, yeah. I get it. So uh 
Yeah, I, I don't. I feel like I feel like he has a lawsuit, man. I feel like there's no deeper infraction than removing a man's genitalia, because it is it, it's crazy that I feel that way. But I feel that you feel the same. Like like there's like you could punch me in the face. You could shoot me, you could tase me, you could stab me with knives. The moment you remove my genitals, you have done something to me that is unforgivable and that I will bring down those seven layers of hell onto you and the people you <laughs> hold close. Man. To excise retribution. Really? Is that that's how deep it goes? My dick is that important to me, yes. Tell me well, I don't know where you hold your dick on the hierarchy. I mean, Where's your dick on it's, level? It's pretty high up there. Is, uh, is it up there? I protect it. Okay. Would you excise retribution on all those who removed it? I I would. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I, I, I like. I can't even. You don't even know how to excise retribution, I Jonah. can't even fathom how mad I would be. You don't know how to excise retribution. You don't even know what that means. You probably be like, excise retribution, that means kill him. No, motherfucker. We ain't killing we excising retribution. Oh yeah? Get, we need payback. You remove my dick, I'm I'm a different human. <laughs> I am. I'm not I'm even not. I'm not me anymore. All right? I'm Jeffrey Dahmer. I'm I'm Wayne Gacy. I'm yeah. Ted Bundy at that point. You know really? what I'm saying? Oh yeah. yeah. You've turned into like like where if like somebody did to your mom level. I'm I'm a different person. I'm a different creature. I'm a different animal. Not, I'm not even of this human. earth. If you take my penis away from me, Jesus, that's the truth. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I, I, I don't feel like that's that that crazy. Like I don't think I don't feel like you need to apologize for that. Like if a woman were to come in, okay, Joe, I'm gonna paint a scenario for you. Okay. All right, you don't believe in hitting women, right? I do not believe in hitting women. Okay, no. thank you for answering that question. You don't believe in hitting women. Woman comes in and chops your dick off. What do you do? Uh, you beat the brakes off of that chick. Tell me you wouldn't. I, I, you, I swear. It'd I'm be done. hard. This, this podcast is now over. This will be the last episode. Jonas <laughs> said <laughs> when I asked him if he would hit a woman that cut his dick off. So I don't know where else. To, I can't respect him as a human anymore. <laughs> you don't respect me as a human anymore. I'm sorry. I don't speak to non-humans. <laughs> I can't even fathom what I would do. Like I can't even think. Mean? I can't even think about. Like I, I feel like. But I, I think I understand what you're saying because, like, I would be in such a different mindset of like, like I wouldn't even be thinking as a logical human anymore. Like I would just do whatever felt like should be done at that time, yeah. and it would probably be something very egregious. And I feel like you would be justified, justified, justified in any court of law. Honestly, I mean, if but, anything, but, crime of passion. But your honor, my dick got cut off. He'd be like, he'd be like, brother, look, I got you. <laughs> He's like, free to go. Drop all the charges. Free to go. <laughs> like, for real. For real. Like, I honestly don't know any court in the land that's going to hold you culpable for any crimes you did against Is the person who cut your dick off. Is it that it's your homie and he tried to turn you into a woman so he could have sex with you and that you would be together? <laughs> I think that's worse. It is worse. <laughs> And that's where my reaction to this is standing as 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 the way I feel about this. It, what, is wait, what like, is I'm worse? I'm a different person. What is worse that he he turned you into a woman so he could marry you, or the fact that he did it so he could penetrate you? My dick being cut off is number one because now I'm like, can I get it back? Can like, I get like you put it in a jar? You got it sitting somewhere? Like, like first thing is like first thing is first. We got to talk about my dick and where can I get my dick back? Like, can I like? Do you have my dick in storage? Can we reattach my dick? After that, we're gonna handle the fact that my friend, who I didn't think was gay, I didn't know you was gay. <laughs> I didn't know you was gay. You gay? That's cool. You know, like so I would have support be gay. Yeah, yeah I would have supported you. I'm not the one, but we got to get my dick back. You're going to have to pay for my dick getting back, not just monetarily, but also I'm taking some ass. Um, that phrasing. Hey, whatever. <laughs> you can think about it. whatever gets you into the room alone with me for that, that 20 <laughs> minutes of the rest of the, of the end of your life. Um, <laughs> whatever it takes, you know. Oh, yeah, I'm going to give you some ass, all right. Yeah, let's come in this room with me. 
You never see the light of day ever again. You took my dick from me. You don't deserve to see the light of day. <laughs> and you tried to fuck me, and you knew I wasn't gay. Uh, you know, that's kind of crazy. Like, yeah. Like, it's 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 the deceival. Deceival? It's this deception Deceitful. of it's this deception of trust in your friend. It's the deception of you know how important a man's dick is to him. Why I gotta be the girl? Why can't you be the girl? Why don't you turn into a girl? I'll fuck you. <laughs> how about that? You really want to do that? I don't he, think being a girl would be that bad, Jonas. I mean, I I like girls a lot. If I was a girl, would you fuck me? No. It, I didn't even have to think about that for half a second. Nope. All right. And so my feelings are hurt. <laughs> All right, man. T- let's, let's... T- Tiantina would be a cute name. Tiantina. I've used that before. I use that in Mass Effect, actually. Thank you. Did you really? Yeah, because I always always play female characters. So always oh, Tiantia, right. Tiantisha. So, anyways, don't take off a man's penis because they might do something really nasty to you. That's it. Truth. <laughs> yeah. That's all the time we have for this episode. Go to thecrazytown.com to subscribe for Jonas. TNT. Oh, uh, yeah.